another day in the grind. So today's a leg day, getting ready to go now. Um, yeah, it's made me realize a bunch of things. Like I've been looking over the videos and stuff like that, and I've realized that um, there's a lot of areas of improvement, which is which is good that I'm aware of that. But there's also some life lessons that have come to pass. So, um, you know, I could talk about them as I drive, I guess. So, one of the things that happened to me as I was growing up was a couple of times I got to say goodbye to people and it was the last time I'd ever see them. And I didn't realize it at the time. And I wish I could have actually appreciated them more or whatever. So every time I leave the house, I make sure that the kids are aware of that. I say to them, hey, you know, something bad could happen to me or something bad could happen to you. So we should appreciate each other. And they end up, you know, giving me a hug or I give them a hug or something like that. Because you can't take life for granted. You only get one life. Some people disagree, but I don't. I think you only get one life and that's it. You've got to live it to the best of your abilities, the best of your capabilities. And if you don't, then you're doing yourself a disservice because there's this there's this story where the guy's dying and surrounding his bed are all the best versions of himself in all the different areas he could have mastered. But instead of that, he died himself. So we're going to the gym, we're going to get it done. It is 3.30 in the morning. Um, you know how I'd normally go to the gym and I'd, I'd measure my weight and whatnot? I'm not going to do that today because I went and bought myself a really, really good scale that um, takes your body mass index, your fat, your muscle, all that sort of thing. And I'll post the, you should be seeing it now. If you're not seeing it now, then I'll show a a clip of what it is because I'm up to about 115 kilos now which is a big drop considering I've only been training and eating properly for about seven days so let's hope I can maintain it it's a lot of work it's very very difficult but you know it's also difficult to be a loser isn't it you know, it took a lot of hard work for that guy to be in the gutter. And it takes just as much hard work for the guy to be successful, you know. So whatever you're going to do, you, it's going to be hard work. Whether you're a CEO or a bum, it's a lot of hard work. I don't like deadlifts with the bar. Super annoying like that. You know? I see too many people hit their balls too, doing it. And I'm, I'm not really a fan of that. Okay, so I'm about to do 40 minutes on the bike and we're gonna go hard. So, see you on the other side. Not gonna lie, I actually feel sick. I know why though, um, it reminds me of the old training in Kung Fu where we felt sick a lot of the time, but you just push through it. Now it's not for everyone, so I don't advise everyone to do it, but I'm just gonna push through it and um, keep training. Like I said, I know why. It's because I tried to train with not enough carbs before I trained and I feel like shit. Like I said, I feel sick. Um, so I'm gonna tweak that, cause fuck that. That's why you should always have carbs before you train and after you train. Carbs being like bread or some shit like that. Something, something a little bit hardy, bit of a break, so you not feeling full or anything when you train, and then, yeah. Okay, this is 118 kilos.
Money's an extension of you. Just as going to the gym and losing weight is an extension of you. You know, you can have all the money in the world, all the power, all the good looks, but the reality is if you're a dick, you're a dick. The reality is your attitude is an extension of your heart. So if you've got a bad heart, there's not much you can do about it. No, that's not true either, because you can fucking change that shit. And it's an excuse not to change that shit. We live in a world with too many motherfuckers that do too much bad shit and they get away with it. And they're like, oh, it's my upbringing. No, 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 it's you. It's you. Because I was one of those people. I was a dick when I was younger, right? And it took me a long, long time to turn this franchise around. So, you know, we can have all the excuses in the world, but the reality is excuses are just extensions of being lazy, aren't they? That's true. It's true too. You're worth more than that. You're worth way more than that. And you've, you've got so much potential. Like, what the fuck are you doing? The world's been trashed for so long because, you know, the world has constantly been evolving. Like a hundred plus years ago, we didn't even have planes. Now we've got like spaceships and shit, right? So the reality is you just need to keep expanding. You need to keep evolving. The people that don't evolve, that don't expand, that don't become better versions of themselves, contribute to the destruction of the planet, essentially, and humanity. And we can't have that shit. So everyone needs to just be the best you can be. And you're like, oh, but you know, that's too much. It's not too much, right? Just be the best you. If you're the best box maker, be the best box maker. If you're the best florist, if you be, you be the best florist. You be the best you. That's all you can be, because at the end of the day, AI is taken over this shit, and there's going to be not much that anyone can do better than AI. But there is one thing that AI will not be able to do: it won't be able to create. That's the thing. Like for example, it'll be able to mimic pictures. It'll be able to, and it might even get to a point where it can create some things. But let's say you you're into drawing, right? And you draw a picture. That AI couldn't have drawn that picture the same way you were drawing it because it's your original creation it can mimic it after you've done it but it can't create it and that's the whole point you create so whatever you create whatever it is you want to do you do it and don't worry about what anyone else thinks because at the end of the day they're going to be replaced by ai anyway and they're going to be crying and shit and you're going to be like well i fucking told you I think it's kind of funny though that the last generation were all like, oh, you've got to work hard, you know, you've got to get a degree and everything like that. Robots do everything now. AI literally has a degree in everything. Like I talk to my, my AI and it, it can tell me anything about anything. Like I've got a degree in everything because the AI is an extension of me now. You get what I'm saying? And it can be an extension of you too. The problem is if you're a dick, that extension of you is going to be a dick. Like you've probably heard of the guy who programmed the AI to destroy all of humanity. What a wank stain. Oh, you could solve world hunger, poverty, homelessness. Oh, but let's try and kill everyone. You're, you're a dick. You're just a dick. And don't you miss the days where you used to create? Like when you were a kid and you created that little macaroni art and all that bullshit, you were like so proud of it, so happy about it. And if nobody else gave you, you know, any sort of applause or gave a fuck about it, like, fuck them, you know? People should appreciate you. They should appreciate your creativity because it's a wonderful, unique thing. And fuck them if they can't identify it. And on the flip side of that, you've got to have fun, you know? Whether you think you're going to have eternal life or whether you think you're only going to live once, right? You've got to have fun. Because all you know is right now, right? So you might as well enjoy it. I don't, I don't mean enjoy it at somebody else's expense either. I mean enjoy it so everyone else enjoys themselves too.
Now, I would have kept going, but I felt my shit tearing on my legs, so I have to stop. And that's what I mean, like, you've got to be in tune with your shit. You've got to feel your muscles and go, you know what, what's going on here? Because if you tear your shit, trust me on this, you're out for like six to eight weeks. And it's fucking painful too, and you don't want that shit. So, just if you feel something not right, like, just... Just take it easy, you know? The old school way is, oh, your shit tears, just go through it, fuck that, right? If your shit, you're starting to feel it, it's feeling a bit, you know, not normal, take it easy. Just take it a bit easy because you'll thank yourself, you know, the next day when you're not screaming in agony. So now it's time to stretch though, because you have to stretch. And I don't think I'm gonna tear my shit stretching, but I'm gonna be very, very mindful of it. because I wanted to do a lot more today. You know what though, I'm pretty fucking stoked about my progress so far. Getting from 120 to 115 in seven or eight days or something. That's, that's crazy good. I just gotta keep it up though, it's hard. It's very, very hard, you know? <sighs> I haven't seen my six pack since I was like a teenager. It's just gonna be like, who the fuck are you? So that's it for today. You take care. You look after yourself. Be safe.